Greetings everybody. Uh, JP Allen of harmonica.com has asked me to do um, a little series of videos, instructional videos, just using a normal C um, 10 hole diatonic. <laughs> but um, for this first video, um, he asked me just to kind of um, say hello and um, explain a little bit about um, what I do and maybe show off some of the other harmonicas that I like to play. Well, I play um, both diatonics and chromatics, but what I do is I tend to tune them quite um, differently and um, to how they normally come out of the shop. Here's uh, my little gig case for uh, diatonics, and um, you can see there's a whole bunch of them there, different brands. Um, there's also a whole lot of different tunings, and you can even see different sizes in there as well. So I'll explain a little bit about them to start with. Even though I started with straight Richter tuning, these days I don't play strict Richter tuning. Um, but I do play tunings which are very similar to Richter for um, a lot of their range. And this is one of them. This is in uh, a tuning I call Power Draw. And this is exactly the same as Richter up to whole six. <laughs> but after that you can bend all the draw notes. Okay, so that's um, it's just a slight variation on Richter, which um, gives a different feeling in the top end of the harmonica. So I know you're just starting out on harmonicas, most of you, um, but um, be aware that harmonicas are incredibly configurable. It's one of the best things about them. I mean, a lot of other instruments, you can't do much to them. You know, you have to buy a saxophone or whatever, that's it, it's your saxophone. Harmonicas, <laughs> you, can, you can hack the hell out of them, basically. And um, that side of things is a lot of fun. Probably only a small percentage of you, of you will want to do that, but um, it, uh, it's, it's just be aware that it's a possibility. If a harmonica is, if, you know, you're trying to play some music that, um, that's got a note there that you can't get easily on your harmonica, well, change the harmonica. It's not that difficult. You can just get in there and um, swap the reeds, uh, or not swap the reeds around, but uh, retune the reeds. It's quite simple. A lot of information about all that on YouTube. I'm not going to go into that now, but um, this is just a little example of what looks like on the outside like a normal harmonica, but now it gives you lots of beautiful draw bends. That's a draw bend, which you normally can't get on a normal normal harmonica. And that's just a matter of changing the reeds around a wee bit. Okay, what have I got here? Now this one here, it's another normal looking 10 hole diatonic, um, but this one's in another of my tunings called Paddy Richter tuning, which has become quite popular with people for playing more melodically on the blues harp. And I'll, um, this is, um, this is something that I developed in order to play Irish music, uh, but it's good for lots of other kinds of music as well. And it's a very small change, but it makes a big difference. As you probably, probably know, um, on your harps, the um, two draw and three blow are the same note. This is a D harp, by the way. So that's both an A note on the um, two draw and the three blow. On the Paddy Richter, I take that three blow and push it up a tone. Okay, and that means that um, you can get a whole lot of uh, melodic stuff. Like normally, to get that note on the on the on the normal note, you have to bend it. That three draw bend, which is quite tricky to really control in tune, especially when you're playing fast. Now it's easy. It's just a blow note, and um, you can do all sorts of fantastic stuff with Paddy Richter. So that was in fourth position. Fourth position is so easy now because your home note is a, an existing note. But you can play in cross up. Okay, so 
I might talk about that in a little bit more detail in one of the other videos. So that's Petty Richter. Uh, what else have we got here? Another tuning that I came up with uh, is called Power Bender Tuning. And uh, this one here um, just gives you a lot more draw bending all the way from hole four upwards. Um, so you can play kind of semi-chromatically there with just draw bending alone. Makes um, straight harp really easy. This is a G harp, by the way. So it's all about draw bending throughout the whole harp. Um, what else do I have here? Well, I don't just stop at um, you know changing the tuning of um, the normal size harps. I actually try and create whole new harmonicas. This one here is um, what I, uh, one of my homemade harmonicas. You can see it's actually two harps joined together. There's a 10 hole there and the end of another 10 hole there and they're glued together and it makes the harmonica have a longer range. Three extra holes give it a four octave range. So this is a C harmonica and um, so normally your lowest note on a C harmonica is this. Okay, so that's your C note. Now on this one you can go in a whole octave lower. Okay, now I call this my lucky 13 and for many years I just had a few that I'd made myself that I used but people heard them, liked them and so in the end I, um, I went out and um, got a whole bunch of lucky 13s made for me by the East Top Company in China and they're now available. So these are now my go-to diatonic harps because after playing for many years with that extra fourth octave down the bottom end, when I don't have it I really miss it. Um, so um, you know, it just gives you that lovely low grunt. <laughs> Okay, so that's the lucky 13. What else have we got here? Okay, this is a kind of a strange one. This is not one of my um, inventions. This is actually um, invented by um, a very, very clever guy called James Antucky. And it's, um, it's called, this is a little thing called the turbo slide. And um, this actually, this, this is a, a sidal steel ha uh, reed harmonica. And of course, steel reeds are magnetic. This has got a little magnetic slider, that little thing that I'm moving up and down and it actually depresses the pitch of the blow reeds and you can get kind of whammy bar effects. Okay, and it just can give you some extra notes that you wouldn't get otherwise. You can bend your blow notes. So if you're looking for something um, crazy and, um, well, not so crazy, actually very, very clever, but if you're looking for something a little bit different to get to spice up your playing, um, these are available from, I think, uh, the Seidel website and also um, James Antaki's website, which is uh, called turboharp.com. Okay, well, I also um, like to play chromatic harmonicas, but when I first picked up the chromatic, I found it was rather um, stiff and unresponsive compared to my diatonics. Maybe you found the same kind of thing. And the main reason for that is because chromatics have got these little things called valves, wind savers, and they stop you bending the notes. So, you know, after I got my chromatic, first thing I did was open it up and pulled off some of those wind savers, and then I found I could bend some of the notes, but I couldn't bend all of them. So then I proceeded to change the tuning of the chromatic. And the, the one I like to use now is mostly it's this model, this, the Hona CX-12. And this is another one of my tunings called Power Chromatic. And this allows you to kind of get um, chromatic scales with bending. So instead of having to go... I can go... blues so it's more like a, a bluesy kind of sounding chromatic um, that's one tuning what else have we got here okay this is another one that looks um, kind of similar to the other one but this is radically different this has got no blow notes if I blow nothing happens okay um, and this is a tuning I developed for playing Chinese music. Um, it's, it has got blow reeds in there, but they're set um, in with no gap, um, so they don't make a sound normally, but, but they allow you to bend the draw notes a lot further than normal. So if you wanted to play a tune like, say, Amazing Grace,
okay. And you can probably see this little um, thing I've got on the end there. I call that a slide hook, and that allows me to move the slider with my thumb um, and not have to, you know, take my hand away. So I can keep, I can move the slider while my hand's in full cupping. So these are little things that um, I notice on the instruments that I that I think you know could be better. And so I've got a, you know, a little workshop upstairs. I've got about five 3D printers, um, a laser cutter, and various other cool tools. And I just like to get in there and start, um, you know hacking away. I've also taught myself CAD design, so I um, can actually design real cool stuff to make on the, on the 3D printers and make quite radical harmonicas. Uh, what else we got here? Okay, some more chromatics. Um, well, I mentioned uh, Irish music before, and um, chromatics are great for Irish music as well. Um, but this one here, I've changed the tuning, so I call it a slide diatonic. It's no longer, doesn't play chromatic music anymore. Um, it plays um, folk music, but with more um, nice twiddly bits. So, um, okay, this is in Paddy Richter tuning again, actually, the one I showed you before. But in this t in this um, time, it's on a it's on a chromatic uh, with all your nice little. Um, So you can sound more authentic when you're playing um, sort of Irish music. Well, I've actually got, you know, <laughs> I could I could be here for hours talking about lots of other crazy harmonicas, but that's a little flavour of the ones that um, that I tend to take out with me when I go to a gig. And um, the good thing about playing harmonicas in different tunings, different types, um, means that you can get a good lot of variety in your playing. Um, but it does all come from, you know, really nailing down um, one. A harmonica style at the beginning and I know most of you are um, starting out with a C harmonica in plain old Richter tuning and that's a fantastic basis for spreading out later into your own little directions and that's what I'll be concentrating on in the next uh, few videos of this little series for JP Allen and harmonica.com the um, you know the C 10 hole diatonic in Richter tuning see you soon